This scared the shit out of me. My package has arrived. You're not going to believe what I bought. Excellent. It arrived. Okay. This better be what I'm hoping it will be because um, I've got to go out. I'm in the middle of an edit too. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, this is a bit exciting. Bought myself a Christmas present just to make sure that I would get one this year. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Get that out of the way. And unless I'm wrong. Oh, another box. That'd be right. Unless I'm wrong. This will be something I've always been curious to own and I thought well we can make some pretty interesting YouTube videos out of this too if I can get out of the box. Only thing I won't be able to test it. That's it. That's it my friends. What is it you say? Well, let's just check focus and see. That should go. Oh it's in motion. And this is it. Oh my god, it is small. <sighs> Very small. Oh, good things come in small packages, I reckon. That is actually a Soaks Prime Geiger counter. A very, very small one. And that's it right there. Wow. Uh, Moderately priced, uh, under $300, but, um, well, this would give us some great stuff to film and some very interesting little experiments. Background radiation on the Geiger counter, normal, 0.13 millisieverts. Now we have that clock over there that I've just moved over there because a friend gave me it many years ago. From a Liber Liberator bomber aircraft. It has a luminescent dial, which is why I knew it would set something off, but I wasn't expecting this. Focus your mind. One microsievert. It's now I've gone into high mode, as you see. There's one. That's the distance there. And it's now gone into dangerous. Let's move it closer, speed things up. Not that it seems to make any difference. Two, which is about four times the dose where you shouldn't be exposed to it for more than 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Look at that. Jesus. Three millisieverts. Holy smoke. This has been sitting in front of my head for years. Up there on that shelf there. Right there. Here's my head. Four. Oh, grandfather. 
Jesus Christ. I didn't run it this long before. Oh shit. This thing's dangerous. You're kidding me. No wonder I'm feeling a bit sunburnt. That's right. Five millisieverts. This is not a prank, this is not a joke. There's no wires or anything anywhere. That's the clock from Liberator Bomber. This my new Geiger counter. Holy shit. You're joking. This thing's definitely not staying in my office anymore. And this is the latest Sox Prime Geiger counter. You're joking. This is starting to fall. Right, 5.8 millisieverts. Wow, let's just, while I'm recording, take it back out of the way, see what sort of range. If I go back here, I'll know back a bit. It's still there. Oh my god. It's falling slowly. Let's go back further. Sorry about the mess in the office. Now we're back oh, five feet. Falling slowly. Shit, it's still dangerous level here. I'm going to stop this and reset it and just get a reading from here instead. That's it. This is not trickery. It is falling, so this is probably alpha particles, I'll assume. Anyway, I'll stop it and do a fresh reading from here. So we'll give that a minute. But there it is up there anyway. So that's um, basically that that's that's arm's length away. Oh shit, drop me to go the counter. Okay, let's give it a minute and see what it says. Have you ever heard of uranium glass or Vaseline glass as it's often called? Really pretty. But uh bet you weren't expecting this. Let's put that there. So it went up to about 50. So as you can see, not everything's safe. 